There is a man after our hearts. Tim, you love the ocean, I love the ocean, and uh, we love looking at it, being in it, on it, whatever. Uh, so as of noon today, the month was half over. Good point. First half one way, yeah. second half, how are we looking? Starting to head back the other way. You know, we talked about as the month began, the beast from the east, that is the jet stream was going to come at us from Europe, very unusual. and. You know, you expect wild weather in March, but that meant a really wild month. Well, now the jet stream is headed back toward the east. That is basically weather is flowing from the contiguous toward Ireland, you know, and some other countries as well. But it is St. Patrick's Day now in Ireland, soon to be here on the first coast. We're going to be dry, but the overall flow has shifted. Not just talking about the jet stream. The polar jet stream for us has lifted to the north, and now the uh, subtropical jet stream is on the move and is energized and is connected with energy coming out of uh, about Hawaii and many call that the Pineapple Express. So that's going to cause some other big shifts. All of these shifts, uh, what Jeff is alluding to. So let's give you the headlines as we head towards St. Patrick's Day. Plenty of blessings, hopefully for you and yours. Storms though on the horizon by Sunday and although we need the rain and there will be some needed rain on Monday and Tuesday also because of the energized Pineapple Express there could be some pretty strong storms as well. But again, if you're going to be out and about late tonight through the early morning hours, nice and quiet out there. The nearest rain had been a heavier weather system. We talked about this earlier this evening, but we thought that precipitation would be blown into our drier air. That has happened. And so now just a few sprinkles at the most out around the Florida panhandle. The main core of that system right here. Can you see it? quite organized circulation center, but this is a smaller of a much larger system. In fact, I'll add the clouds to it. You see it? Just this large system out here, primarily from the Rockies westward. The polar jet stream has been drawn into it. Here's the Pineapple Express, Express from Hawaii to northern old Mexico, and that's the system that will be the big one to watch early next week. So initially, this is the main low. That's what I was just showing you. But watch how that shrinks and then gets sheared off. We call it off to the east and to the southeast. Here's the more significant system, and that's going to be the big player as we end up the weekend. But for tomorrow, there's one of the blessed things. The wind will be at your back as long as you look to the east, and the warm sun shall shine on your face as well, mixed with a few clouds out there. But then we're going to watch for, not sure how gentle the uh, drops are going to fall on your field. At least we will get some rain on Monday or Tuesday, but again, we will be watching closely for the potential anyhow of some damaging thunderstorms Monday, possibly into early Tuesday.